If you're watching this video, you might be somebody who isn't improving with women fast enough, who may even find himself stagnating, who's not getting the quantity or quality of woman that he truly wants. Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you three life-changing hacks that will 10 times your results. As a dating coach of 10 years, let's get into it. All right, guys, because we're getting closer and closer to spring, the first boot camp sold this week will be sold for 50% off. It's a three day boot camp where you get to go out and approach girls with me. We work on dating apps, social circle, we work on lifestyle, and of course, approaching women, charisma, learning how to speak to the opposite sex in a way that attracts them, that pulls them in, that makes them want to be a part of your reality. If interested, text BCAMP to 702 841 9909. Embracing the friend zone. Let's say you're out at the club and you're talking to a gorgeous girl, but she is not acting attracted to you and you're not in the headspace yet to flip her or make her into you. What is one to do? Are you gonna one, walk away? Two, are you going to try to convince her to like you? Or lastly, do you friend zone her? Do you keep her around as a connection, as somebody that you can keep around as a true friend? The pickup community oftentimes will tell you to do one of the first two, to either walk away or to try to convince her to like you. But both of these are the wrong answer. Instead, friend zone her. Be okay with finding a cute, attractive female friend. If she wants to be your friend, why the hell not? Girls like guys that are surrounded by women. If you invite her out in the future to come hang out with you while you're talking to girls, wouldn't you get more women as a byproduct of having her around, as taking her out? Why are you guys trying to constantly convince every girl to like you in this way? Instead, utilize it. Maybe you can take her out to a table later. Maybe you can use her as a pivot to go talk to other women. Maybe as a byproduct of hanging around and being friends with an attractive girl, you get more comfortable being around attractive girls in general. When you go out as well to go talk to girls, you shouldn't just simply be talking to women. You should also be talking to men, to couples, to groups. People are not targets. And if you start approaching people as, again, a friendly, popular guy would, you'll find that the women that you talk to in between your normal friendly conversations with the girls you're attracted to, you get closer to being in the zone and you also appear to the girls you were talking to as a popular social guy, which what does a girl want? She wants a guy that's liked and beloved by other people, that is leader of men loved by women. And if you can appear that way in the club by just approaching everybody instead of just your targets, you'll be a lot more attractive to the women you talk to. Over time of you doing this, of going to the same clubs, to the same places, you can actually start attracting girls because everybody just knows you, everybody loves you. If you go to the place and you know the bouncers, the bartenders, you know the regulars, the, the people that buy the tables, how powerful is that to an attractive girl? If she's talking to you all of a sudden, everybody's like, oh my God, hey, what's up, I miss you, high fives and hugs you. Doesn't that make you tenfold more valuable and attractive in her head? If you're going to the same bars and clubs every week to practice game, why are you not creating a social circle? Girls don't like loners. Number two, create popular guy dates. Now I'm gonna tell you how to take a girl on a date that'll make her obsessed with you. Here's what you want. You want somewhere preferably close to your place. Not necessarily, but preferably close to your place. Secondly, you want somewhere that has attractive, cool people working there. Somewhere that you can hang outside of a date that has activities and as a bonus, possibly alcohol. Now, why do you need all these things? Because I want you guys to go to this place outside of a date. I want you guys to go to this place just to work, just to play pool or to throw darts. And when you go there, tip the people there well and have conversations with them, try to befriend them, make friends with the people that work at this spot. Now, once you make these cool, attractive people that work at this spot your friends and you start taking girls on dates here, how are these guys gonna treat you in front of the girl? They're gonna be excited to see you. They're gonna be high-fiving you, wanting to sit with you, hang out with you. They're gonna wanna also hang out with you and the girl. The girl's like, wow, this guy's respected and liked by the people that work here. These people are cool as all hell. Maybe I should feel the same because of pre-selection. If you guys know what pre-selection is, pre-selection is the idea that women like men that are attractive to other women. Are you attractive to other women? Can you set up an environment where it appears this way? If so, definitely do it. Now by doing this, every time we take a girl on a date to this place, these guys are hyped to see you and excited to see you. They, they remember you as this friendly, fun guy. And the girl's gonna see you as a shining beacon of a man. Now the last step is hire a virtual assistant. Now dating apps are exhausting to use. You gotta swipe every day, you gotta message all the girls to keep your ELO score up. What is an ELO score? So what's the solution? You wanna go to Upwork and hire a virtual assistant. If you hire somebody in the Philippines, they're very cheap. You tell them what kind of girls do you want, tell them your standards for women, and then give them a first message to send out to the girls. Through this, the virtual assistant can screen for you all the women you're talking to. Now is the second stage of using a virtual assistant, throwing parties. There's a strategy that a lot of my pickup friends use in Europe, and it's a very powerful strategy. They throw parties through the use of using Tinder and Bumble. They promote parties through these apps. 
Now you're probably asking yourself, well, how can I use a dating app? These dating apps are attached to your phone number. And if I do this and I get kicked off the platform, then I lose a phone number. Use apps such as TextNow to create new phone numbers to set up new Tinder accounts. And using these Tinder accounts, you can post up about parties in your area. Doing this, you can get a, a 10 to one ratio of men to women. Now, if you don't have a place to throw a party, you have a small complex or apartment or whatnot, split with your friends on a penthouse suite in a nice hotel. Throw the party there. Now, invite your friends to a pre-party an hour before your party is set up. When people walk into the penthouse suite for the party, if they don't see people there, they're gonna turn around and walk away. Now, if you have your friends that are already partying and having fun and they walk into that, of course, they're gonna be excited to stay and hang around, which is gonna cause a magnetic feel. The more people that are walking and coming into the place, the better off you are. So make sure to close off all rooms surrounding the main penthouse room to keep everybody in the same area. So when people walk in, they feel like the party's a lot bigger than it is. Have music playing, have alcohol, have events and things to do while you're there and watch the party grow. And now the more consistently you throw these parties, maybe even give them a name, start shooting videos so that when you have people added to your Tinder account, to throw these parties, you can send the videos how busy the parties get. Use your Instagram to start promoting the parties to have more people come. Try to set the parties up a little bit after the clubs close because everybody gets bored and you have a choice of women. If you guys are interested in coaching, text me at 728419909. Don't forget to leave any questions in the comment section below. And with that being said, Yo, peace.